attention. Amen, somebody. So I hope you will uh, focus today on what thus says the Lord because I believe the Lord is really trying to give you something. How many folk need some peace in their life? Come on now, come on. I, how many folk need some peace on the job? How many folk need peace about your family, your children? Amen. Praise the Lord. Some of us need peace about our health. Amen. I know you're here. Amen, somebody. Yes. God wants to comfort the weary soul. I know how we're good at coming in and putting a smile on and, and all that, but God sees through all those things. And today God just really wants us to know that he's there. Somebody say he's there. Amen. He's there. If you go with me for, for a little while today, I want to flow in the anointing of, of the house. And I just want to give you this word that God has placed on my heart this morning. It's this morning, amen. I asked, I asked God, I was just there meditating. I was like, Lord, you know, what is it that you want your people to know today? And he said, let them know that I am already there. Look, hold on now. Look, don't get too excited yet. I ain't through. He said, let them know that I'm already there. I've been there. And I ain't going nowhere. I said, I said, he said, let them know that I'm already there. I've been there. And I ain't going nowhere. Hallelujah. I ain't gonna be for you long, amen. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like Minister Stanley today. I ain't gonna be before you long. Amen. So y'all better listen up now, because I ain't gonna be before you long. But I'll need you to grab it real fast. Say it, say it with me, say. God is there. He's been there. And he ain't going nowhere. I, I, I know you felt like you was all alone, all by yourself. Didn't nobody care. Don't nobody care. Just me, oh me. It's me, all by myself. Don't nobody care about me. No, God said, I've always been there. Well, he said, I'd never leave you nor forsake you. And, and he's even concerned, he, he said he's even concerned about what you're concerned about. He says some things you don't even have to pray about because I see your concern and I'm already there. He said I'm already there too. Don't, don't worry about them, I'm already there. He said I've been there. And I ain't going nowhere. Don't worry about them. Because God say I'm here and I'm there. Yeah. Praise the Lord. There is a word found written in Hebrews 13, verse 5 through 8. Hallelujah. I got 15 minutes. You got 15 minutes today, amen. Look. Yeah, because it, it, it ain't going to take long for this one, ain't it? Because I believe that the house has been saturated, anointing, the hearts are open to receive. 
So if you just grab a little bit of what I'm talking about, God, you will go home with peace today and you will hold on to that peace. There's no need to worry because he, he already there. He, he went before you and made the crooked path straight. He was there before you even thought about getting to that place. That's what I love about God is God, before he send you, he'll send you somewhere, then he'll go on, go there and be there. So you get there. Come on, preacher. He done already gone before you. Made all the crooked paths straight so you can get there. So he can meet you there in that place. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hebrews 13, verse 5, says, Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Huh? Uh, I can't count the times that I, I see that in the Bible where God said, I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. Amen. And the promises of God are yea and amen. If God say he's going to always be there, then he's going to always be there. Just because you don't feel like he's there don't mean he's not there. Come on, somebody. And sometimes it just means you're not aware of his presence. Because of what's going on with you, not because of him, but because of what's going on with you, you're not aware of his presence. But yet he's always there. Uh, and how we know he's there, because if he wasn't there, we, we wouldn't be here. Some of y'all will catch that later, because you got to realize that, that we're be being kept by the power of God. We're being kept by the power of God. And we're here simply because God has been keeping us here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Amen. Verse 6 says, so that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. <laughs> and I would not fear what man shall do unto me. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. We ain't worried about what they saying. We Come on, somebody. We ain't worried about what the doctor going to say because I remember the old folk used to say he's a doctor in a sick room. Anybody know anything about that? They don't, we don't say that hard no more, but they say, say he's a doctor in a sick room. He's a lawyer in the... Come on, somebody. So we ain't got to fear what anybody will say or do unto us because God is already there. Somebody say he's already there. He been there, and he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Verse 7, remember them which have the rule over you and have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow considering the end of their conversation. Verse 8, Jesus Christ, same that yesterday and today and forever. The same yesterday, today, and forever. I'm so glad God don't change. Amen. He remains the same. And I'm reminded of how many times that I look back over my life and when I thought I was by myself. Come on, somebody. I, I thought then I was by myself. But when I look back, Come on, somebody. I can see God right there with me. He had to be. And ain't no way I'd have made it out of that if God hadn't have been there with me. Yeah. So he's been there all the time. Listen to me. Y'all, y'all. Come on, somebody. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. So when we got up and went out and did what we did and do, 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 he's right there too. 
we don't like to think about it like that. But, you know, if it's just real, it's real. Amen. He was there when I was doing my dirt, smoking my dope. Yeah. Huh? Because ain't nothing going to shock him. You know, he done seen it all. He done overcome this world already. But he promised me that he'd never leave me or forsake me. Forget about what I done said I was going to do, Lord, and I don't went and did something else, but, that, but he going to keep his word. But I can't keep mine, but he going to keep his. So he going to be right there through it all. Amen. Praise the Lord. If it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, we had to think about where we would be. Amen. That's why I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it's the power of God that delivered me. Amen. I ain't ashamed of to, to let folk know I was messed up. Come on, somebody. Huh? Because I wasn't the only one messed up. But he delivered me. And he delivered me to be a deliverer. Listen to me now. God didn't save you or deliver you just for you. Come on now. He, he delivered you so you could help deliver somebody else. Amen. Whatever muck and marrow that God brought you up out of, he expects for you to go right back to that pit and help somebody else get out. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to read a few scriptures into your hearing. I got about 10 more minutes. I'm going to read a few scriptures into your hearing. And then we're going to give God glory. Listen. Listen. John 16 and 33. Go there with me right quick. John 16 and 33. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, he's been there all the time. And I've been worried for no reason. He's been there. He was there before I got to the situation. Come on, somebody. Y'all can. Huh? Hallelujah. Where we at? John 16 and 33. What does it say? These things I have spoken unto you that ye might have what? In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of what? Good cheer. I have already overcome the world. Amen. Huh? Sometimes we just have to remind ourselves that we really don't have, we don't have nothing to worry about, really. Huh? God is already on it. He's already there. He's already taken care of it. He's already on it. <sighs> Isaiah 42 and 16. Put that up there for me. Isaiah 42 and 16. Keep me from going there. Speeding along. Isaiah 42 and 16. And I will bring the blind by a way that they that they knew not. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. Huh? He's going to cause the blind to see. Amen. Those in darkness he's going to bring into the light. He's talking about us. Amen. Amen. One more scripture. Deuteronomy 31 and 8. Deuteronomy 31 and 8. Hallelujah. And the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. Huh? That's a good scripture to read right there, to write down and keep and mark in your Bible. That's a good scripture to read when you're feeling down and stressed and distressed and 
afraid of what's going to come. No, you don't have nothing to fear. Amen. He said he's going he to go before thee. He is he going to go before thee. He will be with thee, and he will not fail thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last words that Jesus spoke to his disciples. In Matthew 28. This is the last word he spoke to them. Matthew 28, verse 18. Now I'm closing with this. I told you I won't, I told you I won't, won't be long. Now look. If you ain't got it by now, you might not get it. Look. Matthew 28 and 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in the earth. Whew. Okay? Not some. All power in the heaven and in the earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, somebody say, and lo. And above all, this is what that means, and lo. And above all, brothers, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. See, he's with me always, wherever I go. Uh, if I make my bed in hell, somebody say he's there. <laughs> somebody say he's there. Huh? If I want to cry my eyes out all night, he's there. Huh? <sighs> if you don't get nothing else today, just remember that he's already there. He's been there. Come on, somebody. I, I, I wish y'all could just get that down in your, deep down in your spirit. Huh? He's already there, and he's been there. He's been there. He's not going anywhere. How many of y'all are in situations now, circumstances, and I want you to be honest with yourself. You felt like you were all alone. Like you're all alone. Nobody cares about, about you in this situation. It seems like, even seems like God is not even there. It's okay to be transparent. It's okay to be honest with yourself today because before you can uh, repent, you got to first admit got to admit before you can repent. Amen. Amen. Uh, so sometimes we have to just first and foremost admit that we were thinking thinking wrong. Come on somebody. And so that we can repent and get back where we need to be on God's side. Amen. When you when you feel like God is not there the problem really is not God leaving, it's us leaving God. Are y'all still with me? We being done left him, we been done, uh, uh, come from up under the Psalms 91, uh, we not under his feather, we not under his wings. Amen. So, so a lot of time it just, if, you know, God has had not moved, we've moved. Somebody say, I moved. Now I need to move back. Come on, somebody. Say that. Say, I, now I need to move back. I the one got out of place. God didn't move. I moved. Some of us just need to move back in place. Get back under the covering of God. Because I'm, I'm a witness. Psalm 91 work. Amen. It don't work for everybody, but I'm telling you, it worked. 
Amen. Huh? One scripture that, that I think we've come so familiar with, and uh, how many, my, my alarm ain't went off yet. Yeah, I got one minute. Okay, let's see. I got one minute. So, in one minute, I'm going to go to Psalm 32. Go to Psalm 23. Let's go there. Let's close with that scripture. A very familiar one, but it's so, 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 just familiar. Because it's familiar to us don't mean we can't get nothing outside of it. We're going to revisit this today. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Come on, somebody. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Now somebody say, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me. Come on, somebody, all the days of my life. Now, did that sound like God ever going to leave you? He said, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Not just some of the days, all the days of my life. Praise the Lord. I want to open the altar up now. For those of you who want to come down, and I want to pray the prayer of peace over you concerning what you concerned about. I want to uh, pray peace over you for what you're concerned about. You're concerned about something. Come on. We, you, you, you're worrying, really. You, you past concern. Come on. You've been worrying about it. It's an issue that you're worried about. But God don't want you to worry. He wants you to worship. And when you're worrying, you can't worship him. So he has to get you out of this place of worry so you can worship him. Because when you worship him, that's going to release the power of God to move in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh? The enemy wants us to be worried and, and in that place of despair. No, 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 no. Huh? God didn't come. The Lord didn't give his life for us to be worried all the time about this and that. He said, in this world, you're going to have trials and tribulations. That's coming. That's, that's automatic for everybody. It rains on the just as well as the unjust. That's going to happen to you. As long as you're living in this world, you're going to have problems. But don't worry about them, God, because the Lord said, look, I've already overcome everything that you could come against. And all power was given unto him in heaven and in the earth. Hallelujah. So all we got to do is just trust God. Amen. Just trust God. He brought you this far. Come on, somebody. You, at first, you got to know that. You got to know he the one got you where you are. Huh? And if he brought you this far, I believe he can take me a little further. How about y'all? I believe he can take me a little further. I'm going to trust him. I'm going to trust him the rest of the way too. Hallelujah. Oh, ye of little faith. He 
He said, yeah, you believe in me for, for one thing, but not the other. Oh, ye of little faith. That's not a derogatory statement. Because the scripture says all we need is a little faith. But he don't want us to just stay with a little faith. Faith supposed to grow. So the fact that he, that he acknowledged that you got a little faith, that's, that's good. <laughs> Means you're not faithless. Hallelujah. So, but he's saying, this is what he's saying, but why can't you believe me for this? They've been saying, <laughs> ever since I was in church, little boy, I've been hearing this here. Uh, uh, it, it, is anything too hard for God? Or, uh, <laughs> they used to, I used to hear him down on a knee praying, talking about uh, he can do anything but fail. Anybody remember something? <laughs> huh? All oh, that should have been down in our spirit. We should be hearing that stuff and holding on to it. God can do anything but fail. He's never failed me yet. Come on, somebody. We got plenty of witnesses that have testified over the years of how, how God has kept them and keeping them. Oh. Amen. We go in and out the hospital and come out and get well, and folk go in and don't come out. And you think God ain't keeping you? Are y'all listening to me? Huh? Folk, folk in, in having accidents all up and down the highway, getting killed and everything. And here you are driving all times of the night, speeding sometime, and you making it to your destination. Don't you know that's God yeah. with you? Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> the, uh, man that brought his, his lunatic son to Jesus, I love him because he was just honest with, with the Lord. He said, uh, he said, uh, Jesus asked him, do, you know, do you believe I can do this? And he said, yeah, I believe, uh, but help, yeah, help my unbelief. Yeah, help, yeah, help, help my unbelief, help. Yeah. What he what what he was what he was basically asking him to do is to to deliver him from his fears and his doubts. See that that's that's what unbelief is. He was saying, Yeah, God, I, I I believe you can do it, but 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 see see that word but <laughs> it cancels out. Come on, somebody. Yeah. What you just said, but yeah, that means you got doubt. You're not quite sure. We got to we got to remove the butts. We got to remove the butts. But, but God, no, no. I believe. Therefore, I receive. Say that. Say I believe. I believe. Therefore, I receive. Therefore I receive. Hallelujah. It's not nothing hard. The enemy tried to come in, just created a little doubt. And it's the doubt that kept Israel out. It was just that doubt. Doubting God kept them in the wilderness 40 years. Doubt. Tell me, what do you think God can? Who? Can he bring us out? They were asking, can he bring us out? No, they shouldn't have been saying, God can bring us out. Instead of asking, can God, can God do this? God can do anything. Come on, somebody. Say this, say this to yourself. Say, speak to yourself. Y'all know it's all right to talk to self, right? Huh? Amen. Thank you, lady. How can you encourage yourself if you don't talk to yourself? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Say, self, we got to do better. 
we got to believe God more until we can believe him in all things. Uh, you got to admit that you're not there yet. Don't, don't, no, no. You ain't there yet. But what you're telling self is, self, we, we going to do better. We got to, we're going to believe God more and more uh, because you ain't believing him in every area of your life. If you were, you wouldn't be right here right now. Okay? You got to keep it real with him because, you know, God, you know, he already know the situation. He already know where you are. Okay? Amen? So we got to grow in believing God in every area of our life. And this area that you're struggling in, you're just simply going to have to give it over to him and trust him. You, he he want to show you, but he can't show you until you really give it to him. That's what the man with the lunatic boy, he had to do. He, he had to give his son to Jesus. And, when, and by the time Jesus got through with him, again, I, I assure you, he, he has faith. That doubt was removed. Are y'all still with me? After he healed his son in front of him, that doubt was removed. This is what God want to do for you. He want to he wanna do this thing for you to remove all doubt. But what he can't do. Man, I hope y'all are listening to me. <laughs> but you got to give it to him. You got to trust him. You got to give it to him. You got to give it to him and say, God, I trust you. I'm going to leave it alone. God, you do it. And he'll show you who he is, what he can do. Amen. Y'all get that? Come on, get God glory for it then. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Faith come about hearing. Okay? If you would just, just listen and hear, your faith would continue to increase. Amen? <sighs> A lot of times, I've, I've heard I was talking to him just, just yesterday. Uh, talking to a friend of mine from down in Mississippi, and we got to talking about God and things of that nature. And uh, he brought up uh, the, the laying on hands and anointing with oil. And I said, we got to talking about that. And I said, yeah, I believe, I believe in exercising that. Uh, we lay hands as the Lord instructs us to. He said, we don't lay hands on everybody. We don't lay hands every time we come to the altar because uh, God don't move in that way all the time. Sometimes you don't need, sometimes you need an anointing, uh, and then sometimes you just need to listen. Just hear, just hear, O Israel, hear. That's the first commandment. Just hear, O Israel, hear. If you hear, then you can understand. If you can understand, then you can obey. Amen. Amen. Bless y'all. Amen. Bless y'all. Amen. Bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. There may be someone that will receive Jesus. We want to give you an opportunity to come. Or maybe you're here and you don't have a church home place to belong. We, we open up the altar for you to come and unite with us. Hallelujah. Every day is a good day to give God, give God your heart. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, we trust that everybody here is full and have peace. If you do, if you still struggling, don't have peace about something, come on to the altar. Uh, the anointing is still here. I don't want you to don't want you to leave and don't have peace because it's available to you. It's still available to you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord.
put, let's put our happy faces back on and all that good stuff, and let's get ready to go forth and the rest of our service. And um, praise God in our giving, amen, uh, and all that. Praise the Lord. And, 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 and we're going we're gonna to close on this, this good note that God is there. He's been there. He ain't going nowhere. I mean, I wish, I, I wish somebody would be on first social media with that already, popping that out there. God is, look, that's what, that's what we're going to do. All y'all on social media, hashtag, put that out there. All, come on, all day, rest of the day. Hashtag, praise the Lord. Come on, get glory. Good God glory again, amen.